your name? Is there to meet y'all? Kirsten. Kirsten Onaji, nice to meet you. Oh, I'm Dallas. Dallas Onaji, nice to meet you. Man, I like that shirt. Dallas. Uh, Dallas. David. David. He's from Dallas? Sort of. Close enough. I'm from the better city, Fort Worth. Okay. Uh, uh, Kira, I also go by Lady Mandalore for Bird's Eye View. Yeah, nice to meet you, Kira. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Y'all from out here? Us. Uh, Memphis, okay. You'll be there. New York. Memphis Comic Con? New York. New York. Yes. Google. I'll just make the Memphis. Go there. Oh, I'll only be there. It don't get as much play as it used to, but Manhattan. <laughs> it's, it's nice. We keep it quiet. I like how central it is. She stay by the ferry. Yeah, exactly. Oh, she fancy. Oh, wait a minute. I mean, <laughs> if you couldn't tell. <laughs> Back to the city and back home like that. Instantly, yeah. No, it's 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 nice down there. It's nice when it's not. If it's not like the 95 crowd, it's nice. It's a nice place to go down and walk. Yeah, it misses you too. Are we about to start. Ready? <coughs> okay. Starting young is is heavy. It, it, it is a, it is a heavy journey, but it was a great one, you know. Like 
all the no's that I got, all the rejections that I got made up, you know, for what I'm doing now. You know what I'm saying? This this impact that I have now with this character and, you know, just being able to travel the world and see, you know, the impact on it has on families and little nieces and nephews that I have in my, in my, in my family, it's crazy. You know how the world comes back around, but yeah. Definitely sure. proud of you. Thank you so much. How you doing, man? What's up, boss man? How you doing? I'm Dallas from Level One Gaming. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And my little brother would kill me if I didn't ask a Spider-Man question. <laughs> At least one Miles Morales question. So, um, the thing that I would like to know in that realm is, you put um, there's clearly some level of hip hop influence, cultural influence. Um, do you think that you need some of that that culture? From yourself and your characters or rather um how do you think you if at all leave some of yourself in your character yeah um <clears throat> me and miles's stories is uh kind of parallel which is crazy so you know i i can't go without music you know, i wake up and listen to music you know i shower the music i be ready to music you know i don't really watch tv as much because I've been involved with that industry so long that I can't watch it the same. I, I kind of know how it was made and it's like kind of takes away from the feeling of watching something. So I'm a music guy. So yeah, hip hop has had a heavy influence day one in my life. You know, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia originally. So, you know, that's music mecca, you know. So being raised in Atlanta and being raised in LA, it kind of like just blend both of those genres of music and that sound of the South and the West Coast together. and just, you know, made me a different animal, you know what I'm saying? So it definitely, definitely, I portrayed in a lot of, you know, uh, things that I come across. But like I said, going back to Miles and his character, we have a parallel background, you know, now he's being raised by a single mom, his dad dies, you know, he doesn't have his dad in his life, I have my dad in my life. And him being raised in New York, you know, so rambo it's such a rambunctious city, you know, so it kind of, kind of put, you know, both of my worlds into into play of where I come from and how I was raised and my background. And then, yeah, all the things that I listen to, I get ready to, you know, uh, what, what will Miles listen to? He he rocks the weak Tims. So it's kind of like, you know, he, he, he an old school, you know what I'm saying? He kind of like still in that old school mindset. So yeah, I kind of put all that, man. And then New York, you know, New York is another one, another mecca of hip hop, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta put all that culture and blend it all, all well together. And that's something I try to do. All right, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tell your brother what up. Yeah, man. What's his name? <laughs> I call him little brother's name, Jeremy. What up, Jeremy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, David, love on gamers as well. Uh, of course, I'm coming to Spider-Man. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, that's what we do at Love on Game. Gaming is our, is our number one thing, right? Yeah. So I got I to gotta ask you, Spider-Man and my family is huge, right? My I'm, I'm African American. My, my wife's Puerto Rican, so my, oh, word. my son is. You are yeah, right. You are yeah, his son. Yeah. His son is loud. What's yeah. his name? Mario. Oh, Mario. Mario. Yeah. What up, Mario? It's a, it's, it's, my Spider Man is huge in our household, right? So, can you talk to like how do you feel with the cultural impact of you? Because for us, you know, when we're playing the games, you are our Spider Man, right? You know, we got the, the Spider Man, like that. We're playing the games, like my yeah. son's like really into, right? How can you, or can you speak to the cultural impact you feel being our Spider Man? Man, it's it's a blessing, man. I couldn't I couldn't ask for anything better. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, knowing the background that I come from, and uh, my my family's Jamaican as well too. So having a lot of having a lot of culture in my family, and then being able to portray it and meet so many other families. Like I said, I have so many uh, people from the Spanish commu uh, community coming up to me now. And I have a lot of people, you know, from just different different races and different genres just coming up to me just because Miles is breaking that barrier of, of you know, this historical moment that we're having with, with, with what we're seeing. So, you know, being being a black Spider-Man, just being that cultural, that cultural crossover, you know, I've had a lot of a lot of people come up to me. So it means a lot, man. It's a blessing and I don't take it for granted for nothing. You know what I mean? I'm gonna I'm I'm tell I'm gonna take the take the take the torch and and go and go crazy with it. You know what I'm saying? So we we're not done. That's 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 one thing that you know that I'm proud of is that uh, we didn't we didn't leave this and and let it be one thing. You know, it's it's a journey. 
So that I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here for all the families, man. I've got so many crazy stories of you know families coming up to me saying that you know either their their brother or sister passed away, and then they based the funeral off miles of, of you know it's just everything. I've gotten crazy deep stories about just how much of an impact we've had with families. So you know, like I said, I'm here for it, man. Hey, and we need you to MCU by the way. Just come on, right yes. come on, and <laughs> <laughs> hey, make that call. We there, man. Seven five, you call me. <laughs> Thank you for that lovely sign. I appreciate it. Um, I'm Kira, also known as Lady Mandalore for Blur's Eye View. Um, I wanted to know, you can answer either one of these questions. First question is, have you spoken to anybody at the, um, within the Spider-Verse world? Cough. Um, <laughs> uh, and are there any projects that you are currently working on that would surprise people? Um, for sure. <laughs> for your last question, for sure. Um, uh, definitely, definitely, we definitely are 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 definitely um, we got some things coming. Uh, you know, don't know when or how things are gonna go about, but yeah, I'm definitely in the works of, of new projects. Um, and then yeah, I definitely I, I'm well good friends with my with my fellow uh, Spider people. <laughs> That's heartwarming, thank you. <laughs> of course, I got you. Uh, Chris Arthur from Shots of Shinobi. What's going on, man? Uh, I just want to say from Atlanta, so. Yeah, so okay, closer. okay. Um, the growing up, yeah. was Miles Morales a character that you that you looked up to? And what was that process like, auditioning to get that role? Yeah, so I grew up on the Tobey Maguire stories, man. Um, you know, I'm 27, so, you know, being raised with those three movies. Uh, and then, like I said, I was the only child raised by a single mom, so I had nothing but toys and just nothing but things around me that just keep me distracted, you know what I'm saying? So that was my number one thing. So I had nothing but Spider-Man toys and nothing, you know, it was a heavy, heavy influence, you know? So just growing up and then seeing how the world comes around. And then Miles, you know, I got, a, I got the info on Miles from my uncle. He was like, yeah, he was in the comics a long time ago. And like, you know, he was, he was raised upon some of his comics. You know, but then how they pushed it with this new story, and um, and how Marvel came with this with this new uh, uh, era of of how we were going to portray Miles. You know, it came to a point where I had to do a lot of research. I had to put in my own best foot forward. I'm like, okay, how would this young, you know, this this young little boy coming up in Brooklyn, you know, attack this this type of feeling? You know what I'm saying? So I definitely had my own moments of like, okay, how would I feel if I just had a switch up and change of things and then you know put it into a new york kid's body because you know new york is a different animal they got some different people out there you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, <man. laughs> this is you know what i'm saying so i got family in queens so yeah so it's like you know it's it's a different vibe out there so just trying to correlate all that together and then um but yeah i had fun with it man you know miles is young so I got to be my, my, my younger self, essentially. You know what I'm saying? I got to tap into my, my, my older days and get to be 16 again. And you know what I'm saying? Just get into that vibe of, of having fun. And then, like I said, also having a big responsibility to deal with, because things switch up on you like that. But that's what the message is about. And that's why I love that I'm attached to such a character, because he portrays a message, he has a crossover, and then it's, it, like I said, an impact. So, you know, it's three big milestones that he has in his life that I could bring to y'all, travel the world, meet these beautiful people, and just keep this, keep this ride going. <laughs> oh, what's going on? What's going on, man? Um, my name is Cleveland. I'm coming yes, sir. To just rap. Uh, my question for you is, with all the characters that you have played, what's some lessons that you learned from them that you carry on to this day? Mm. Okay, um, don't take everything so serious. <laughs> That's one thing. Uh, you know, uh, Adam Sandler actually taught us um, when I did those grown up movies, um, the grown ups movies, I was 12 or 13 in the first one, and then 16 or 15 in the second one. So, you know, Adam just wanted us to be kids on set. You know, he just, he said, put your scripts down. Learn your lines, but put your scripts down, man. Don't be all, cause you know, parents, you know, everybody has you, Learn your lines, get your script, you know, they, you know, they only with the pressure. So it's like, 
He was like, drop all that. I was like, I don't want none of that. I want y'all to have fun. Y'all are kids. Y'all just be on set. And there was times where we couldn't because we couldn't stop our laughing. You know what I'm saying? It was hard being on set with those guys and those legends, man, without cracking a, you know, cracking a little snickle here and there. So it had to be a point where like, okay, yeah, we'll have the kids in this scene. And then when it's time for us to come on, y'all just have fun. You know, so that I kind of took that with life, man. It's like you can't take everything so serious because life can throw you a, a lot of a lot of stuff, man. A lot of things where it can distract you, you know, to a point where okay, you heavy into your head space about getting something done because you have so much pressure, you know. But when you really relax and let go and just let things ride and go with the go with the flow, <clears throat> things things start to open up. God starts to show you like I got you. You like just relax and you know, I got you. But yeah. Now my second question is my biggest. Oh my. You're on. All right. Um, well, before I ask, has anyone not played the second Spider-Man game? Me. A couple years. Spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm be, I'll, I'll be vague. There's a side mission in the game where oh. we we meet a new character who I've never met through oh. a portal, and you get a kind of a warning about Miguel. Uh huh. And if Miguel comes looking for these, tell him finders keepers. Wait, who's Miguel? <laughs> mm -hmm. Being that your Peter has already been on the big screen, is it possible your Miles gets a chance or that they come over to you? Man, um, it's, it's, it's some things in the, in the talks right now, waiting, waiting to see what's going on. I'm I'm doing I'm doing these cons right now, so I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm on the road right now. So you feel me? But yeah, when when it gets to that time, um, I think I think uh, I think I think I think you won't be you you won't be unpleased. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> What's going on, man? How you doing? You doing good? How about yourself? Good morning, man. Yes, sir. My name is Nate. Uh, I'm a representative of myself, Nate B. Photography. I hope that actually yesterday when I was doing a photo shoot for you. Yeah. yeah, yes sir, what's going on? Just had a quick question. Um, you know, you've been playing Miles for a while, and you know, I really like the fact that Miles, when I think of him, is adaptability. You know, mm -hmm. like, he has a lot of different situations that, you know, the typical Peter Parker we grew up with doesn't have to face. Right. So, you know, he has these different powers that he's had to develop. So, like, as a person who's now embodied him, if there was, like, a new power that Miles was going to get, and it was 100% your choice, what would you pick? Mind reading. Ooh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skip past the bill. What you think? Yeah, yeah. What's on your mind right now? Like, yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, man. Yes, yeah, sir. I mean, you got electrical. Uh, bro, is that White Ranger inspired? Yes, sir. Oh, <laughs> super, super, <laughs> website Super X. They got like a ton of like workout gear right now. They have a Deadpool and Wolverine. Like right, right, get, right. Right. Need to get you a map, Miles. I'm out for sure. All right, uh, so I'm Chad from the Fusion Hot Podcast. First of all, I'm going to the Dream Con. Yes, so you said you've been doing cons. You've been on a con tour. You've been yes, doing sir. cons. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what is one question that you wish more people would ask you? Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> what's it like behind the scenes of the cons? <laughs> okay. Well, in life. Yeah. <laughs> Hectic. <laughs> Hectic. Oh, man. Uh, it's fun, though. You know, people are like, oh, yeah, you get to travel. Like, yeah, it's, it's, a lot of, it's a lot to it, though. You get the flight cancellations. You get delayed flights. You get stuck at the airport. But, Hotel. yeah, man, hotels. So, you know, it's, 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 it's all fun. But, yeah, it's... It's another side to it. It's like, okay, <laughs> let's, let's do it. Let's go meet these families and do these. And then it's like, all right, flight got canceled, flight got delayed. And it's like, oh man, you let down so many people. And then it's like, yeah, and then you gotta, you know, it's like a guilt type. And that's why, that's why I kind of go back to that. Don't take everything so serious in life. Cause you can get so down at something that could just mess up your whole week and your whole, like, it's okay. A lot of people, you know what I'm saying? Like you gotta let, you know, let things go you know, sometimes, but yeah, that's that. I, I appreciate that question. Yeah. He, and he's not even capping it. He just <laughs> dealt, dealt with the Microsoft shutdown. He was like delayed and overnight. Yeah. I thought he had been home yeah. and he called me like, bro, I just landed. I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Crazy. It's wild. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a great question. Round two. 
All right, this is the second round. So if there's anybody that want to have another question to ask, please raise your hand. All right. <laughs> <laughs> How did it feel to have? Uh, how did it feel to have your character Sam brought to life on The Last of Us? Mm -hmm. Did you appreciate it? It was an honor for sure. It was definitely an honor. They're like, um, people were like, did you call? I'm like, they couldn't have called me, bro. I'm 27 now, it was <laughs> over 10 years ago. I'm like, nah, it was an honor. Like, it really felt special that you know we did something so so it well you know so so big that it, it got you know it, it, it got this it got this replay over 10 years later and it got turned into a tv like it, to this day i'm like still tripping like damn that was 10 years ago and they we really did numbers with that game you know and you know that was my first video game so i'm walking into that production you know just brand new green about everything just like okay learning about mocap learning about voiceover i was not doing voiceover work before last of us I had a stutter, I was talking fast. Yeah, so I wasn't, I was horrible at voiceover. I was doing movies and doing a lot of other things like that. So a lot of people don't know that too, you know. Um, but yeah, before Last of Us, it was like, yeah. And then just looking back on it, I'm like, man, like, you know, for them to take that one and then make it to what it is now, man, shout out to HBO. But yeah, it was an honor. And then seeing Lil Kiva, he won the uh, Emmy for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, he won the Emmy for that role, bro. And it was just like, we did that one. We I'm going to change it, but I would love to invite you on to our podcast. If we could talk afterwards, that would be wonderful. I got you. Where you at based at? Uh, remote. Okay. Sure. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. When you're doing your voice over roles, uh, do you just have the script, or are you going off animations? Do you have some test animations? Uh, it's a little bit of both. It's a little bit, it's a little bit of both. Um, like I said, with, with games, uh, we got like three sessions. We got the mocap session where we essentially put the suit on, got the dots on, and got the camera around our face, and uh, we act out the scenes. And then we have our um, our second session where we will go, we will we'll go into the booth and record on the mic to what we did that day on the on 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 the mocap stage, and we'll try to track uh, things that we missed or just the whole script that day. You know what I'm saying? It might be like 80, 90 lines deep. You know, so we'll be there for four hours, and then you know we'll have ADR sessions where we're still in the booth, but then we're tracking over movement. You know what I'm saying? So we we'll have no 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 lines, just movement, just body work, just breathing and actually you know fighting and all that stuff. So yeah, it's it's a, it's a three process, three three step process with that. So it's yeah, it's a bit of both. Mm. All right, so my biggest gripe with Spider Man Two, and <laughs> maybe you can answer this question because you know you want to continue yeah. but um the adidas costume mm -hmm. do you ever you get saying that or like into like the costume design or what is it i don't oh, the next game okay i don't uh i'm cool with animators so maybe uh <clears throat> oh man yeah <laughs> i'm like i'm answering it in my head i'm like no you can't say that neither bro like, okay no I'm over here asking all the questions, man. Uh, no, I don't. Um, but yeah, I know what suit you're talking about. Really? <laughs> all the suits. All of them? No, all of them, but it's just. I, 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 the first all of them now. <laughs> I got a couple of them now. Yeah, the last one, that we were talking about, that you're talking about the, the, the latest game. Yeah, yeah, with the hoodie and yeah. the cutout. Yeah. Um, that was cool. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, you know, I got a lot of people got oh, I love that suit. Oh, I hate that suit. What you think about it? I'm like, bro. I'm glad you played <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so glad you played Yeah, I told him, I told him, look, man, y'all can either put the hoodie on if y'all don't like the hair. You know, I think what it was, the animator saw me growing out my hair while I was filming. So while I was filming, I had my you know hair in different ways. I was coming to set with different braids, different hair, yeah, styles. So they probably didn't know which one to pick. Everybody was like, "Look, man, just give him the kill manga." Because I don't know what he likes, man. Like you know, the animators, I know they were watching, man. Because I was growing my hair out, like I said. So, but yeah, put the hoodie on, man. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I know exactly what you're talking about. Please tell him to kill the. Kill the actual kill mark. Yeah, that, that needs to go. They were like, that Black Panther movie did well. That's <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. But yeah, no, I think they're going to see a lot of, you know, it might, it might be a switch up. We'll see. 
All right, so I just said last was your first game, right? Yes, sir. What was it like when you saw all the review scores come back to the point where that's the game they give you with PlayStations now and they just keep porting it and keep porting it and make sure that this is one, if you're a PlayStation owner, you need to have this in your hand. Yeah, it, like I said, man, that was my first just like break into the video game world. And cause like I said, I didn't know about just this community. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I come from Atlanta, I was, you know, like I said, I raised my single mom, so I got into, I got into little things that I shouldn't have, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I was, I was going a certain route where, um, you know, this kind of brought me back to like circle back. Okay, this is where we're going. But uh, man, uh, to answer your question, man, it, it, it definitely was like a, um, it was a change. You know what I'm saying? It was, it, it was a change. Uh, and then say your question again, because you had said something. You had said something in there I wanted to answer. What did I say? <laughs> oh, I was saying, what was it like knowing that you basically are in like one of the PlayStation icon games now? Like when I got my first PS4, came with a copy of God of War, physical copy of Last of Us. Last of Us, yeah. So like I said, my, I did not know like the the, the numbers it was going to do because it was my first just yeah. entering it. You know, I was just entering this world of video games and entering this world of mocap. So I didn't know how everything was, or you know. And then I didn't know about the video game awards. I didn't know there was a video game award. So when all those, you know, numbers hit, I was, you know, 15, 16, just playing it, you know, throughout the night. And then looking back on it now, I'm like, oh, yeah, we really shut down the industry for a minute. Like Naughty Dog really shut down the industry and made some, and made like a, just a, a change. And, and man, you know, if you look at all of Naughty Dog's work, like all the Uncharted's, all the, I mean, um, yeah, all the Uncharted's, all the just the things that they crashed Bandicoot like years ago, like they've made some bangers. So, you know, just having that stamp and being a part of their legacy, man, it's crazy. It's crazy. And like I said, looking back 10 years on it, they made a TV show. I did not expect it. No, I'm be honest with you. I did not expect none of that. I still remember my auditioning process. Like they showed me a video, my second audition, they showed me a video of like an ant in the woods, like crawling and getting infected. I'm like, what is this I'm doing? I'm like, what? Uh, is I'm like 15, 16, I had this audition. I'm like, man, I'm ready to go. I'm like, what? You feel me? Like, and then, you know, and then they put me in a suit and I got it. I'm like, this suit is tight. I'm like, what is this, bro? It was cool. Cause I'm like, okay, this is how they make the NBA games. I know how to put the suits on with yeah. the guys. Yeah, I've seen the 2K. So I'm like, okay, that's what they doing with this. But yeah, looking back, man, it was like, man, I couldn't, that was only God, bro. Cause I was, Amen. yeah, yeah. I was not expecting that at all, at all. Mm. We got time, don't be shy, y'all. All right, everybody, that is going to, but I... one question. All right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you walk down there too. We'll get her, get her one. I got you. Um, Okay, so is the industry really as like sort of more casual as you make it seem? You just that laid back. Cause it really <laughs> do seem like oh, I just be chilling. I mean, it's work when I'm going to working, but I just be chilling for real. Like, is that is it really that casual? That Besides part. the business part, is the industry that kind? Of, no, I mean the industry is crazy. This is, this, yeah, is this is him. This is him. This is my own brother. Everyone's not the same. Yeah, but, yeah. Our whole team. Comes. He's Spider Man for a reason. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like you said, in the role he play, you feel me? It comes out like he's a special guy, so you know they know move around this type of stuff. So every he can be overwhelmed some days. It ain't gonna be chill like how you be. I gotta deal with that attitude. Like bro, calm down. Then some days it's just chill overall though. So. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like the industry is crazy enough, so you might as well control what you can control and just be chill about it. Like, you know what I mean? uh, one, one more question. Let the lady get it. One more. This will be the last question. <laughs> hey, y'all. My name is Risa. Um, I'm Sunny Ray. I'm with Blur Sunbay. We're part of Press this year. This is our first time doing Press. Hope it'll come back next year. Yeah. Um, my question for you is just what is like once it's all said and done, like what's a good hobby or comfort food that you like to partake in just to make you feel at home and just make you feel like, yeah, I'm back home, I'm back me. Mm. I ain't with all those. It's a few things I do to get back in that mode. <laughs> 
Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I love my good Jamaican food. Uh, I love my good soul food. Um, like I said, I'm from Atlanta, so you know, I, I'm, I'm a foodie. You know what I'm saying? I love to eat. Um, and I write, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in the industry where, you know, I, I meet a lot of, you know, people that I'm a fan of. So it's like, you know, when I get into this field, uh, a hobby that I do is write them on, on my own time, whether it's a script, whether it's a song, because, you know, it's different industries I want to get into just to see how that field is, you know. So I didn't encounter so many things, but yeah, I mean, some good food, some good music, you know, um, good people around me. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's really good. <laughs> Come to the, we got a panel, we got a panel, uh, 2 30. me, me and Sh uh, Sean, Sean Solo from uh, GTA, yeah, play Frank, yeah, uh-huh, Frank from GTA, yeah, me and Sean got a panel, yeah, yeah, that's gonna be great. All right, everybody, that's gonna conclude the press conference with Najee Jeter. Yes, thank y'all so much, thank y'all for sure, thank y'all so much, yeah, y'all fire, y'all come see me. My hearts. Lady Mandalore, also known as Room Full of Words. Chris Fury. We'll be watching Mayhem Media. And you are watching. Words of You!